Hello everyone and welcome back. Now today we have a little surprise. Now first I'd like to say thank you for those who participated in, in the comments box below of some of the videos about uh, what to draw next as for ideas and some of them were excellent and I will be doing them all when I get a chance to get around to it but because uh, I'm only doing one video per week. But anyway, uh, I have an interesting one here from Edward Grip. Now he writes, um, let's see, I've got it here on the computer here. He writes, uh, this is quite interesting. Uh, where does it start? As for ideas, I saw a dream recently about a forest full of giant mushrooms and ferns. To the left of the scenery, there was a descent into a ravine. I believe a tiny river ran to the bottom of it. And though to the right and through to the right there was a bunch of small buildings like an observatory station or forestry or forest houses with outbuildings with their gable tile roofs heavily covered in moss and in the middle there was a narrow path partially hidden in the shadows wow <laughs> I'm going to try and draw this. This is going to be a bit of a challenge. Yes, this is really cool. Uh, thank you very much, Edward uh, Gibb. Um, now, Karen also uh, left me some great ideas. Thank you so much for that too, Karen. Uh, so today, I've decided to do my drawing on the tablet, but I'm going to lay it down flat on a table so you get a better view of it. And because of my last drawings, you can't actually see what I'm drawing because of my hand, because it's covering the pen. So this time I'm going to lay the tablet on a table, and that way you get to see it a lot clearer. So here we go. And thank you for being here. And I notice there's a few more subscribers on our channel. We're up to 108 now, which is fantastic. Thank you for being here, and let's get on with it. So let's just do the mushrooms first. That's the easy part, I guess. So I'm just going to do an outline of mushrooms here first, over here, hope you can see that, I'll make them a lot darker later. Maybe I should draw the underside of them. Or maybe the underside of some of them. I got my other pencil here. It's a lot darker. Drawing's hard sometimes. Sometimes it comes together and sometimes it doesn't. I guess that's why I like painting because if it doesn't come out, I can just paint straight over it. Where, in a, as a drawing goes, if it doesn't work out, you have to rub it out. You can't really draw over it unless you block it all out. Ah, that's looking a lot better. I'll do a nice little edge to this. Now these aren't toastals, these are mushrooms. I've never really picked mushrooms before. I've seen them but I've always been worried. I've heard horror stories of people eating mushrooms and uh, well the outcome hasn't been good for them. <laughs> so that's probably why I haven't really taken them home to cook. Okay, so mushrooms, let's get these shapes, but you have to be in the right mood to draw. Ah, yes, I forgot, there's an underside of a mushroom and it looks similar to this. That's better. Now I could add more detail in this drawing, but I only got a certain amount of time. 
I don't want to run this video into hours and hours. Time is short and uh, time is precious for all of us. So if I can make them short to give you a general idea. be helpful for you so when you do your drawings you can do it how I do it or do it how you want to do it because at the end of the day it's your drawing and uh, everyone's different that's why I love about art as everyone's unique if everyone was the same it'd be boring So there are the mushrooms, uh, I'll do some more, but I need to work out the rest. Now there was a ravine that went to the left with a small river, and there was a observatory on the right with some outbuildings. So I could go tall, or I can go one that goes out onto a cliff. Um, Okay, I could do one in a forest. Well, I'm really, I'm not sure uh, what would be the best one for me. I, I might do one that's tall. That way, um, I can give myself room for other things in the drawing. I saw a movie years ago called uh, Grizzly and it was a forest, it was a horror movie about a bear that attacked people, it was a massive grizzly bear and I remember the observatory, it was like this, it was up high in the forest but I think, I'm not sure if the bear tore it down, I'm not sure, can't remember that long ago. I'll give it a roof, a roof like this. And I'll give it maybe a deck on the outside of it, Some, a place for someone to walk around. And we'll do a ladder. This is a very big one. And we'll do some going in a zigzag. These prevent the building from swaying, it locks it in position. And I'll give it some a door and I'll give it some windows. That's what it's all about, having lots of windows. Okay, um, giant ferns, uh, first let's just do some trees here, some trees. Some trees there. Uh, I could do maybe some bushes in here, like that. And I'll do some outhouses. I may do one here. Give 
give it a roof. Um, oh, I've got to give this antenna. I'll give this a, a chimney. with lots of moss on it so I guess I have to fill this up with moss I wonder if it's in Alaska or where it rains a lot because there's lots of moss everywhere I'll do another building here not sure how to draw moss but if I do swiggles, maybe that could represent plants or moss. We'll give this a door. And here, and some windows. One. One, and I'll give this maybe a shed out the back. And some wood paneling. Through there like that. And some more bushes. Through there. ferns giant ferns first that's uh, how can I do a fern ferns okay we'll just do a basic fern I won't do all the leaves in between each one In New Zealand we have a silver fern, so if you turn the fern over, the underside of the fern is actually silver. I read New Zealand, it's the only place you'll find a silver fern. I mean there's ferns all around the world, lots of them, but only in New Zealand, it's the only place in the world that you'll find a silver fern. I like this one, this one's good. So let's do another one here. Maybe one here. I could just keep doing these, cover the whole page. I need to place them in a way that it fills in the spaces, balances that out, because uh, you don't want to put something in a place that's not going to fit. I may want to put something else there. Um, okay, I may do a coral right here how about that let's color this in a coral is the is the actual plant 
it opens up and turns into a fern. It means life, the beginning and end of life. Okay, now there is a small river in a ravine flowing down on this side. So Try and come down here like this. Put some more trees in here. And maybe another tree here. Yeah, it's important to have trees because they hold the soil in place. Stops soil erosion holds the banks and holds everything together. If you chop all the trees down, then everything falls apart. Heavy rainstorms, houses get swept away, roads, everything, because there's no trees. So here's a river. I'm not sure, I have to make sure that this is on the right angle, because it could look strange. I guess it could go like that. I can make it disappear around the back there. Or, mm. let's change that. Let's change this like that. It's the ravine, so ravines are high. So maybe I should come down here like that. I don't normally use rubbers, but I'm going to use a rubber in this case. And I'm going to rub this part out here. And I'm going to rub this line out here and this line. I'm not happy with those lines. That's all. I'm going to go straight down like that and I'm going to maybe make this a cliff or a steep bank. Okay, so what I've done is I've added some trees through here and that's a cliff or a small cliff through here. It's a ravine through here. The trees come down to the water line here. And this is a small river. I'll do some more trees through here to give it some depth like they are far away get some perspective Come up and make it 
tall. So it looks like it's steep. Making this steep through here. It's looking good. I'll put some grasses through here. Maybe some some more hebes in here. that is going up okay now uh, I could use that that I rubbed out and make that into some rolling hills yeah it just Colour them in. Like so. And the river can disappear in between. those hills. Now you could do a better job than I've done here but it gives you some ideas so if you ever want to do your own drawings you can use my ideas here to create your own pictures. Now I have a um, Facebook account so if you want to share your pictures on my account you can I would love to see them see what you do put some more trees in the background there and I'll put some over here See you like that. All I'm doing is just rolling in some lines there. Okay, on this side, uh, he said or mentioned there's a pathway, a very small pathway that's hidden. So let's put it somewhere. I'd say in between here. First, I'm going to do some more ferns here. Let's just finish this off. It runs through the background there. Okay. And I'll come back to that. I just want to finish this off here. Let's put some grasses in here. Mushrooms. Let's put another mushroom here. Okay, I'm going to put um, a tree about here, a big tree. This tree is leaning. Let's fill it in. Let's color this in. I'm happy with that. Let's do some more ferns through here. I'm doing that next to the house to show that we have large mushrooms nearby. grasses in here. I might do a 
path here, a hidden path. so much Edward Grip for this challenge it was absolutely uh, fun I enjoyed it I stopped it there I could keep going on and on but I decided that I'll leave it as it is but thank you so much now I could do it again and I could do it completely different I could put more forest to it um, make it more dark more mysterious but I left it as it is thank you again for giving me this idea and thank you again to everyone who's been watching my videos and if you like please subscribe to our channel and I'll see you again next week have a wonderful wonderful day